talking about the, the wrestling, were you surprised in one of the three when Czech actually re-engaged the wrestling with you? I was a little bit. I, you know what? Maybe in his mind he was... I, I, uh, I said this before, a good way to... Dude, good way to kind of throw a wrestler off his game is to wrestle him. You know, sometimes we get when we fight non wrestlers, we, we tell her, like, ah, we're not going to get taken down, nothing worse is going to happen. Same thing happened to me when I fought, like, Marcin Tibera. I was uh, in the cage with him. He shot double leg and took me down. He totally, totally took me off guard uh, just because he decided to wrestle with me. Uh, but, you know, I was able to, you know, luckily catch it and was able to switch position a little bit. But, yeah, he definitely caught me by surprise with it. Yeah, I agree. That's what I thought. That I agree with you that sometimes it's a, it's a good idea to do that when you fight the wrestler and you're the kickboxer, so I can shoot on him. He's not going to explain it. Yep. But at the same time, I said, dude, it's super close, and you're getting that dude again in the yep. position you want. So I said to Anis, say, for sure, Tim is going to get back up. Yeah. And for sure, you, well, you can take it down because he's explosive. He's a, he has so much experience. Yep. You can take people down. But I was like, he's going to get back up. And um, I have more question. Like, at the last two minutes of the fight, start to be tough, start to take some shot. Yeah. And you had this problem that if you stay on the outside, there's a good chance he catch you with something. Mm -hmm. So you had to close the distance. And were you surprised that when you shift against him, he didn't try to counter, he just tried to pivot. Yeah. Turn on the cage, he didn't try. I was like, what? Yeah. You're no, the I'm... kickboxer, why would you try to just get your jab No, going? I was, yeah, I, I know exactly what position you were talking about. It was, it was there was a lull, almost like, because I was expecting, and then we were kind of just staring at each other for a second, because neither one of us really, uh, I was expecting something back, but we didn't get nothing. Um, and yeah, uh, I would have liked to get a lot more takedowns, but um, this kind of hindered a lot of my uh, my grappling uh, against the fence. So uh, hopefully, like I said, uh, hopefully we were active enough that it didn't turn into a boring fight. I don't think I, I didn't think it was in there, but uh, sometimes they do get a little <laughs> against the fence. But uh, overall, I was pretty happy with it. No, I, I was surprised actually with the pace of the fight. Even as I said, after two rounds, maybe it's going to start to be a bit slow. No, it was very good. It was a very good fight, yep. to be honest. That's yeah, something yeah. you fight sometimes. It's not, yeah. I was not active, but it was very good. It was very back and forth. Actually, I don't have a split decision. I thought you won. Yeah. Two yep. against one. Yeah. And actually, in the first round, you were very close to stop the fight. Uh, like, I think you missed maybe a few one and punch shots. Yeah. But that hit more like the neck and the shoulder. Yeah. I was like, oh, if this one touch, I think it was like one of two punches. Yeah, I, I felt it was close, and then... Like, I felt my hand, I'm like, oh, that hurt. I actually I had to stop throwing it because <laughs> it just hurt. And then I heard my corners going, like, uh, like 30 seconds. So, like, I just got to – I got to baby this till the next round, let the swelling kind of get there, and <laughs> hopefully the pain goes away. <laughs> and so how was your day today? Like, because you fought pretty late in French time. Yep. So did you stay on – like, you live in Vegas, right? Yep. So you stay in Nevada – Pacific time. Or, or I did, did as much. As, I did as much as possible, but our, we had the stupid, uh, stupid freaking temperature checks every day that had yeah, to be yeah. done before noon. Daily, I wanted to stay up to like two or three o'clock in the morning here and sleep till like one in the afternoon. But I had to keep waking up early to get my temperature checked. And um, yeah, otherwise this fight was happening basically during the time I trained in Vegas. So my body was, that's like what time my body's used to training. Yeah, I was wondering what time you arrived at the arena because there was like that long two hour break yep. before the last two fights. Yeah, I think we got here about 9.45. Okay. Yeah, so it was pretty quick. I liked it, I mean, got my hands wrapped right away, loosened up, and basically, you know, the first fight ended quick. So it was, oh, here we go, let's go fight. And you've been, uh, there is a lot of stuff this weekend about the in press conference talking about check and being in Paris for the first time, blah, blah, blah. It must feel good to just come here, being a bit <laughs> under the radar, and so I got the job done, I can go back to the cast yeah, now. It, it feels great. Um, you know, a little more validation uh, for myself. Like I said, I think half, the, half my losses with me listening to people, you know, or, or just, you know, my confidence going, yeah, maybe people are right, maybe, you know, I'm on the way out. And, um, I tell you what, uh, having a baby on the way sure motive remotivates a person. <laughs> Dope. That's yeah. great. Actually, I'll start a question with just something I want to tell you. Uh, I don't think I ever heard you talk about the first fight saying that the punch is illegal. Because the first one that Congo touched you in the first fight, yep. the one that walked down, it's definitely on the back of the head, right? Yep. And, and then, like so many fighters would say, oh, dude, it's an illegal punch, blah, blah, blah. And all week I never heard you say oh, something no. once. And I was like, that's perfect. That's the mindset you want to be there. Yep. No, you knew it would do better than... I, uh, I, the first fight was fluky. Like, I, not a fluke. It was just fluky. It was weird. Um, like, if you rewatch it, like, I went in, and I just kind of, like, fell over from, like, a little punch, and I was, like, I wasn't knocked out, but I definitely got rung 
But I was kind of just sitting there during it, but I don't didn't watch the fight back, you know, back of the head and shit. Like, that's, you know, doing this kind of stuff, it's not the end of the world. I mean, I don't think it's, when guys are throwing, I'm, and I don't check, Chuck's not a guy who's intentionally trying no, to throw it back in my head. You know, exactly. Yes. It'd be different if he was, there's some fighters that are dirty fighters, but I know Chuck wasn't one, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to go the route of saying from that first fight, yeah, it was hitting me in the back of the head. No, that's just not who he is. And just one thing about the workout. So you used Ted Nugent's Stranglehold? Yeah. Awesome song. <laughs> Do you know what song he used? I don't know if you know it. That's why. Was it the French, French, it was a French, French national, national anthem? anthem. So I, I, I was singing for yeah. the American. It was very patriotic. Yeah. It was yeah. a bit bad to <laughs> do in the beat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you said the, the crowd didn't pay attention too much in the fight, but it was pretty respectful, to be honest. Yeah. They wasn't like saying, they were saying jokes. They were saying, Grab his hair. Like, What's that? <laughs> they, are, they were saying to check to grab your hair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's uh, a joke. Yeah, no. no. But, uh, yeah, did you feel like uh, in one or two, as soon as you got your shifting going on and that you wasn't covering, you could get the job done? Like, you were going to finish the fight, it was pretty yeah. safe. Just how you feel your, the knees to the belly? Um, you landed like, can, like five or six at least in one or two? I did on him. Or yeah, like, oh, yeah, no, I did. I know um, something we've been working on a little more elbows and knees and the clinch, not just, you know, knees, the legs or the whatever, um, uh, just incorporating a little bit more. And, you know, on the same, uh, the mindset of, uh, you know, wrestle a wrestler. Well, me, me, a guy who's a Muay Thai fighter, you know, he, he's not expecting me to do it because he thinks he's going to be a bit more advanced in that, in that part of the, you know, that attribute of martial arts than I am, so might as well throw some knees and elbows in there because he's not expecting me to do that. Awesome, I don't want to waste more of your time. Yeah, Great victory, man. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Here you go with the left hand.